Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum, and ERC20 tokens on Crypto.com and then store them safely and securely on a Trezor device. So let's get started. All right, so Crypto.com is a great place to buy cryptocurrencies. You can buy, sell, trade, stake cryptocurrencies on their platform. And you can also use the MCO Visa card, which can be attached to your account to spend your crypto in the real world. So today I'm just going to show you something really simple. How do you buy some Bitcoin, Ethereum, or ERC20 tokens on the Crypto.com platform? And then after you've purchased those cryptocurrencies, store them in a safe and secure hardware wallet like Trezor. So let's get started. So I'll go ahead and launch my Crypto.com app here. All right, and from the home page to purchase anything, you'll just hit trade. And then I'm going to choose buy down at the bottom. And I'll choose my crypto. We'll start with Bitcoin. Now, there are three different ways that you can do this. You'll notice I'm on the credit card option, but you also have the crypto wallet option where you can trade for other cryptos that you may already have in your account or the fiat wallet option, which is a wallet that uh, you fund directly from your bank account. This takes a couple days, but once the money gets in there, you'll be able to use it to purchase cryptocurrencies. Now, I'm going to show you the easiest way, which is to just attach a credit or debit card to your account. As you can see, my debit card is attached to my account. I'm not going to buy this much Bitcoin. I'll probably just buy... I'll just buy 0 .004 Bitcoin, kind of a minimum purchase. So I'll go ahead and hit buy, and then I'll tick this option here that I understand there is a charge for my debit card or credit card. And then I'll go ahead and confirm that. Now sometimes they'll ask you to enter the card uh, security code. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, and there I've purchased that Bitcoin. Now I'll go ahead and buy a little Ethereum. It's very much the same process. I'll just hit trade, buy, and this time I'll choose Ethereum. Now if you don't see it in the list, which I do, you can always hit that little magnifying glass near the top right and just type in the name that you're looking for and you can find it like that. All right, and I'll just buy 0 0.05 Ethereum. I'll hit buy. Then I'll tap that little tick box again. I'll hit continue. And then I'll confirm that. And there we go. Now an ERC20 token is a specialized token, which is a sub token on the Ethereum blockchain. So uh, you can always find out if the token you're interested in is an ERC20 token or not. I usually like to check that over on uh, CoinGecko. So for any coin that you might be interested in buying, like say, for example, Uniswap, which I know is an ERC20 token, you can check over here on the side. And if it's uh, an ERC20 address, and if the explorers include Etherscan, you can pretty much bet it's an ERC20 token. So in my case, I have some tokens in my account already. Axie Infinity, which I know are ERC20 tokens. So I'm going to show you how to withdraw the Bitcoin, the Ethereum, and the Axie Infinity. So uh, let's get started. So today I'll be showing you how to store cryptocurrency using the Trezor Model T. It's got this guy right here. So Trezor is a great way to store your cryptocurrency safely and securely. The private key is stored on the device separately, though no one can take the crypto out of your wallet unless they possess the device. It's a very safe and secure way to store your cryptocurrency. Now the Trezor wallet used to look like this. Uh, they've since added a new Trezor Suite software, and I'm going to show you how to use that. This is the Trezor Suite. You can download it for Mac, Windows, or Linux and install it onto your computer. I've got a great setup video on how to do this. I'll uh, put a link to it up in the corner there. So you can check that video out if you want to just see it uh, set up from scratch. But I'm just going to assume that you've got your setup. So I'll go ahead and launch my Trezor Suite that I have installed here. 
The Trezor Suite won't really run unless you have the device attached. It's part of the security. So I'll go ahead and attach my device. All right, once the device is attached, I can just tap the screen here and it asks me to enter the PIN. So I'll take care of that. All right, now I've changed the name of some of my accounts, so I do need to confirm that I've changed the labels on the accounts. You may not get that alert. All right, so this is the Trezor interface. You can see I've got a Bitcoin account and an Ethereum account already set up. So we'll go ahead and start out with the Bitcoin. So I'll just click on the Bitcoin account here. And as you can see, I have more than one Bitcoin account. I have a native SegWit and then I have an older SegWit account. But I'm going to use the native SegWit account. That's the newest format. All right, so all I need to do is hit receive here. And there's the Bitcoin address that I'm going to use for crypto.com. So I'll hit show full address. All right, and you can see it shows up on my device as well so that I can confirm it. All right, so uh, I just double check that the address on my computer screen and the address on my device match. Now that I have this QR code showing, I'm going to open up my crypto.com app. All right, we'll start with that Bitcoin. I'll tap Bitcoin while on my crypto.com app. I'll just tap that and it'll open up the account interface. And then I'm going to choose transfer. I'll hit transfer and then withdraw and then I'll choose external wallet. All right, I've never used this Trezor to store Bitcoin from Crypto.com before, so I'm going to need to whitelist the Bitcoin address. So I'll add that to my current list of Bitcoin addresses. So I'm just going to go up to the very top there in the right, tap that little plus. All right, and then I'll choose Wallet. And now I'll tap that little icon there where it looks like a little QR code. That's going to open up the camera on my phone. Uh, now you may need to allow camera access if you've never done this before. I'll just scan that Bitcoin address in and then I'll give this wallet a name. I'll call it Trezor. I'll call it Trezor T and then I'll hit continue. Now I have two-factor authentication on my crypto.com account so I'm going to need to go over to my Google Authenticator. You can see there's a list of codes. Crypto.com is at the top. I can just tap that code. It goes into the clipboard of my phone. I can slide back over to crypto.com and then tap paste and hit continue. All right, and then they're going to send me an email. I usually don't tap that little blue open email link because it doesn't always open the correct email client. So I'm just going to open up my Gmail where the email came in. I'll tap confirm withdrawal address. And then I'll open my browser. All right, and that relaunches crypto.com for me. So I can just dismiss this, and then sometimes you have to back out and go back in. So you'll see that new address added there to your list. Now I'll choose Withdraw BTC, and we can edit this field by tapping in there where it says US dollar. And it shows the max down there at the bottom. I'll go ahead and tap that and just fill in the max and hit withdraw. And then I'll hit confirm. Now the withdrawal also needs to be uh, verified using my Google Authenticator. So I'll open that up again. I'll tap that code, go back over to crypto.com and tap paste and continue. All right, the withdrawal has been submitted. Your Bitcoin balance should go to zero on crypto.com. All right, and then we can go back over here. Now I can dismiss this as well. I don't need it anymore. And then we'll just wait a little bit for the Bitcoin to arrive. It hasn't arrived in the wallet yet. But while we're waiting for that, we can go back to the dashboard. Let's go ahead and withdraw that Ethereum. So I'll just click on the Ethereum account. I'll do receive on this one. And once again, we'll do that uh, show full address. I'll click show full address. It's going to show on my device and on my computer screen. I'll just confirm that those two addresses match. 
on my device. Now I've got that QR code for my Ethereum wallet. I'll go back over to crypto.com. All right, so we're just going to tap where it says Ethereum. We'll hit transfer, withdraw, external wallet, and then I'll choose to add a new address to my whitelist. And then I'll tap that little QR code there and let it scan the address from my computer screen. Now I can name this. All right, and then I'll hit continue. I need to enter the Google Authenticator code. I'll get that code from Google Authenticator and paste it in here in crypto.com. All right, and then I'll just wait for them to send me the email. And there it is. I'll tap the email and then I'll choose confirm withdrawal address. Notice you can even eyeball at this point that they're the same address that I see on my screen and that I see in crypto.com. Notice they know it's an ERC20 type token, Ethereum. And then I'll choose uh, open here. Alright, and then you can see that the address is now whitelisted uh, as an Ethereum withdrawal address. So from here I can tap Withdrawal Ethereum, and I can edit this field to withdraw as much or as little as I want. I can even switch between Ethereum and US dollars, but I'm just going to choose the max down there below the Withdrawal button. I'll withdraw the maximum amount of Ethereum. I'll hit Withdraw. All right, they're going to charge me a little bit of Ethereum for the withdrawal fee. I'll hit Confirm here. And then I need to re-enter my uh, Google Authenticator code. The first time was for the whitelist. The second time is for the actual withdrawal. This needs to be confirmed. This is security. All right, now that's done. All right, now I'm going to show you how to withdraw an ERC-20 token to this uh, Trezor wallet. It's pretty easy. If I go from overview over here to tokens, you can see I already have an ERC-20 token in here already. So I've uh, sent ERC-20 tokens to this wallet before. But the ERC-20 tokens uh, for an Ethereum wallet all have the same address, the address of the master wallet. So I'll choose show address here. We're basically going to do the same thing. We'll just uh, confirm that address. And you'll notice this was the exact same address that I used for my Ethereum wallet. So I'll just go over to uh, Axie Infinity. I'll tap that and pull up the account interface for that token. I'll hit transfer. I'll choose withdrawal. And then I'll choose external wallet again. Notice that I've never withdrawn this particular token from Crypto.com before, so I do need to add a new uh, whitelisted address. So we'll tap Add Address. And we can just do the same thing we did for the Ethereum, right? We'll just tap that little uh, QR code. It scans the wallet address into our Crypto.com app, and I can call this one Trezor2. All right, and then I'll hit Continue. I'll enter my Google Authenticator code. All right, I'll tap the code for crypto.com. I'll slide back over and tap paste. I'll hit continue. All right. Now I'll just wait for the email to come in from Google. Gmail. All right, I'll open up that email. All right, and then I'll tap Confirm Withdrawal Address, and I'll choose Open. All right, and then you can see that that address is now uh, in my whitelist, or list of acceptable addresses. Now I'll just choose Withdrawal AXS, and I'll go ahead and max it out again. This time I'll just withdraw it all. Tap that max down there below the withdraw button. I'll tap the withdraw button and then I'll hit confirm. All right, I need that two factor code again. And the withdrawal was successful. 
And we should see that balance go down to zero. We've got a little confirmation there. All right. So we successfully withdrew the Bitcoin, the Ethereum, and the Axie Infinity. All right, so now let's uh, just check to make sure that all of those transfers came into the wallet. All right, so we'll go back over here to Bitcoin main. We'll see uh, that the balance has gone up and that there's a new uh, transaction here recorded that we received Bitcoin from crypto.com. And there we go. So that's confirmed. Now we can go back up here to dashboard. We'll choose the Ethereum this time. And we'll scroll down a little bit and you can see there in uh, Ethereum that we've uh, received the Ethereum. And we'll just wait a couple of minutes for the Axie Infinity. And there it is. That was easy. Just came in. All right, so that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple to uh, buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or ERC20 tokens on uh, Crypto.com and then easily transfer them into your safe and secure hardware wallet. Uh, today I demoed the Trezor T uh, in conjunction with the new Trezor Suite software, which is very easy to use. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.